This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from ITW 2017, and I am here with Mr. Vincent English. Uh, Vincent is the CEO of Megaport. Vincent, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks, Dean. Lovely to be here. Outstanding. So how's the show going for you? Uh, really busy. Uh, Good. It's <laughs> one of our biggest events on our calendar. We get to meet a lot of people here, a lot of our partners and mm -hmm. um, our customers are here. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a perfect opportunity for us to, to sit down and collaborate and whatever else we need to get done, mainly business deals, but yeah. <laughs> business good. deals are good. Uh, outstanding. Very good. Yeah, yeah. So um, Megaport, lots of expansion going on there. Um, I know last year we uh, we spoke and um, an expansion was kind of a, a theme and a year later you've made good on that theme. So um, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about uh, your expansion? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, 2016 was a very busy year for us um, and particularly the expansion of the network in the U.S. So mm -hmm. we're over in 150 locations globally today. Uh, 19 countries um, and it's really important for us to expand because at the end of the day fundamentally we're a network mm -hmm. and so that network to give us that footprint and uh, our software stack sits over that and so uh, the network is really important in terms of global footprint so both Europe and North America where we've expanded a lot over 2016 and, and equally in terms of expansion we're actually increasing our ecosystem so our cloud service providers that we have on our footprint and our sure. managed service providers and ISPs and other partners, network partners are equally expanding at the same time so it's actually taking two different tracks on our mm -hmm. expansion and that's to create this uh, the concept of a one stop shop for our customers ultimately enterprises want to consume services and we make that very easy that journey for them and our service providers and our cloud service providers really want to get access to enterprises so we sit in that nice spot there where we're able to actually bring parties together so they can do business. Outstanding. So um, before we get too ahead of ourselves, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about Megaport, exactly what it is that you do? Uh, yeah, so fundamentally we're a, a, net, a network and on top of that network what we've done is we've built this really cool uh, product which is software driven, um, mm -hmm. which enables a feature set where you can actually pay for what you want, when you want to use it, connect to whoever you can on the network and consume it or have control over how you do that as opposed to a traditional network where you actually have to buy multiple parts of your network sure. and combine it together with multiple providers and we take that hard work away from enterprises or customers who yeah. want to use that and make it very uh, make that journey very easy for them. Um, so we, 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 we believe we've got a really cool product um, and we, we really are trying to sell as much of it as we can today. Fantastic. Okay, so now I'm um, going back to the um, original question. You kept talking about partnerships there, and I understand that you've got a number of partnerships that have happened yeah. really over the last year, one being Oracle. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that partnership? Yeah, sure. Um, recently, we just announced a, a, a global partnership with Oracle. Uh, we're one of the first providers to uh, connect both the bare metal and mm -hmm. the Oracle public cloud um, through their Fast Connect, which effectively mm -hmm. is how they connect to their, their cloud. Um, and they, when dealing with Oracle and how the partnership came together is we've got our 150 locations, a geographic mm -hmm. footprint, our global footprint, which is ideally suited to Oracle in terms of them getting ahead and trying to expand it, their cloud service sure. product to the customers. So there was, and then for us, it was really valuable for us to have Oracle come onto our ecosystem where other, other enterprises want to have a multi-cloud strategy or other just to connect to them. And it's another way of connecting to another service provider. So it was a win-win situation for both, both parties. And and uh, we're all really happy that we've eventually got that going. So it's congratulations. It's cool. That's yeah. very very cool. That's, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And then and another exciting news. I mean, uh, not taken away from anything, but we just announced Alibaba pretty yesterday morning. So they've just come onto our network. So we're really excited. <laughs> hot dog. That's not even in my questions. Right. That, outstanding. Very it's, cool. Uh, it's fresh news. Yeah, no, I like it. You yeah. heard it here first, folks. <laughs> um, very cool. So um, uh, keeping the same uh, partnership theme, Elastic Multi-Cloud Ecosystem. What's that all about? Right. So, I mean, I guess the term elastic uh, is, is actually the ability to where you can actually consume in a, in a flexible manner, mm -hmm. right? So it's not fixed and it's not, um, uh, it's just like, it's not hard and set. It's basically a consumer can use services, whether mm -hmm. they want to use it for one day, two days, a month, two months, three months. And they can also have it where they want to use it for 100 meg, 500 meg, one gig, two gig of capacity. Sure. So the ability to scale is probably the equivalent of the term elastic in mm -hmm. terms of how it works. Um, so the end uh, consumer can use their services in that flexible manner and effectively match that by paying for what they consume. 
very similar to how a cloud service provider would sell its cloud compute. You pay sure. for what you use. We've made connectivity match that in the same manner. So we connect in the same way you would com consume cloud. And yeah. that's effectively what it is. That's very, very cool. So um, I assume then, I, again, I'm not even, this isn't a part of the question. So um, is it an easier sell, perhaps? to be able to purchase like that in an a la carte kind of way? Yeah, uh, yes, it ultimately it will be, right? Yeah. Because um, this is obviously a new a new thing, mm -hmm. right? It's it's very different from the traditional way of, of yeah. these products coming together. So, we've spent a, we're spending a lot of time making sure awareness and education and stuff. But as 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 time goes by, that awareness grows rapidly as sure. we've seen over the last 12 months. Um, and the adoption of that is is similar to the cloud adoption experience right and so um they both marry together in terms mm -hmm. of how they work and um yeah it, it's it's ultimately the enterprises will get that and it will find it such an easy way which our customers are doing sure. now they're kind of you don't go back to the old way of doing it because it's right. just so much easier right <laughs> sure so it's an adoption thing very cool um so let's talk about the future obviously the last 12 months have been um pretty big for yeah. you let's talk about the next 12 months where where do where can our viewers expect to see megaport 12 months from now yeah, um, look, we're really busy. And again, this conference, again, is just one of those highlights for us where we get to kind of really take stock of what we want to do over the next uh, 12 or 18 months and mm -hmm. how we do it and double down on our efforts, for want of a better word. Um, we're going to continue to expand our, our global footprint. So that 150 locations, we're probably going to add another maybe 60, 80 locations before the end of this year. I thought that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we've got a lot of all of that already in the works, so to speak. So yeah. getting that done. So that's that's really important for us. And like I said, um, we just announced Oracle recently, and then with Alibaba this morning, mm -hmm. and we've got other uh, providers that we've got also a pipeline where we're working with to bring them on. And again, that's really important. We're seen as kind of a way to get to market quickly because of mm -hmm. our footprint, mm -hmm. because of the software and easy to consume. So both of those tracks, uh, we, you will see more expansion on over the next 12 months. Outstanding. Vincent, thank you very much for being with us today. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's great. And listen, megaport.com is where you see all the material. And anybody who wants to try out the portal, it's megaport.al. And Outstanding. Check it out. Yeah, thank you very much. All Enjoy. Right. This is the last day. I assume that you're getting on a plane later today? Uh, yeah, tomorrow heading back to Brisbane from here. So a long trip home, but yeah. Looking forward to it. Safe travels to you. Thanks, yes. as always, for being with us. We appreciate it. Thanks very much, Dean. You got it. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We will see you soon.